guys, I'm Vince, and welcome back to Automation the Karkumi Tycoon Game. Now, after three months of no uploads, I've decided to return because I miss you guys. I love you. Anyways, today we are going to be doing a Mad Max style build because when I was on a trip to California, on the way back on the plane, I watched Mad Max Furiosa, and it reminds me that I love Mad Max. It's great. It's like the best movie series of all time. Cars, big engines, violence, explosions, white people. <laughs> anyway, so this right here is the Falcon High Lane. That sounds like a fancy name, I don't know. And this is going to be the base for our gigantic lifted Mad Max monster truck build. Alright, and now for panel material, we're just going to go very basic, because this is, at the end of the day, a giant American Luxo barge. So it's just going to be straight up steel, front longitudinal. It's going to have coils and leads, because it's going to be lifted. It's going to be lifted. It's like it's going to be like the Giga Horse. Is that what it's called? The Giga Chad? The Giga Horse? And now for the engine, the engine is going to be badass basically that's the only rule it has it's gonna be a gigantic cast iron v8 and i do not think superchargers have been implemented in the game yet almost it's literally been like five years come on anyways this could be a push rod because murica it's gonna be a 10 liter i'm just crank both of the size because you know you could put an even bigger engine in here but it has to be a v8 actually we could make it a v16 you know because like the Giggle Horse has two V8s connected to it. I'm just going to ignore that. We're going one V8. It's a 10 liter, man. I mean, we're going to make enough power. And we're definitely going to have to put the best Eternals in here. And also make the engine variant, like, brand new so it doesn't explode immediately. And we're going to go Forge, 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 Forge. Actually, Titanium Conrods and Billet Steel Heavy. I don't know where Bullet Farmer and, uh, and Morton Joe are getting all this titanium from, but who knows? It's not my job to ask. Now, for the RPM... We don't want it to explode because it's got to survive going down the Fury Road. So, six grand for the RPM limit, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna come back and mess up all the compression and cam and the spring lifters and all that later. And like I thought, no turbo. I mean, no supercharger yet. So we're gonna go with a double turbo with just a wastegate, giant intercooler for 12,000 horsepower, and boost. Yes, we want boost. We want quite a bit of boost and massive turbos. Like I don't care about lag. They just gotta make power and quality. Uh. Yeah, Morton Joe would, uh, he would put some, I guess he would put some time into that. Anyways, now we're also gonna go, to be weird, we could go with, like, crazy-ass carburetor setup. I've never seen that one before, that's weird. Uh, how about we go with just a four-barrel twin carb? Yeah, like that. And then, advanced, and it's gonna run on, like, we have, got ethanol, we got E85, compressed gas, methanol, nitromethane. Where is aviation fuel? I want av gas. Yeah, let it av gas. And it's going to run super rich because it's the apocalypse. I mean, we own gas town, right? So it shouldn't matter. And then uh, for headers, realistically, it doesn't matter. It'd be straight piped. Like straight off the header. So like right there coming out of the fender. So look at those turbos. Those are massive. This thing is going to be terrifying. Obviously dual exhaust. It's going to have them like, like diesel stacks. Reverse float. No, we don't need mufflers. What am I talking about? Valve float, huh? It only wants to rev the 4700. Well, guess what? Yoink. Let me just crank the quality real fast. Uh, crank and Conrad have issue. I guess we are just revving too high, so. We'll bring it down to 4600. And we're making 600 pound-feet of torque and almost 600 horsepower. It's all right. The exhaust is so restrictive. Now it's not. Our carb needs to be larger. There's 600 horsepower. Revving straight into a wall because they're floating valves. Don't care. Uh, do I make it overhead cam? That's oh, still two valves. Here we go, three of them. Oh, that that doubled our horsepower. One extra valve doubled our horsepower. We're knocking a little bit. I'll definitely lower the compression. Now we can raise the RPM limit again to five. And I guess add some quality there. High torque. Look at the look at this thing idles at 500 RPM. That's like not even running. I have to fix that just for myself. Hold on. Got to quality spam real fast just so it doesn't rev so low. Now cam profile. Let's see. Peak torque is at 5100. We don't even rev the 5100. So I'm going to do like, let's just do five. Look at that. Nothing, 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 nothing. Boost. Okay, we got, I got to mess with this turbo, man. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Look at that. Goes up. 
the max torque at 3,000 RPM. So I will set my RPM, uh, my cam profile accordingly. Why is this thing idle so low again? Come on, man. That's because I messed with the cam profile. I know. All right. I think this is going to be our engine for now. It makes 2,100 horsepower at 5,100 RPM and 2,600 put, put pounds? foot pounds of torque at 3000 and if i wanted to make this have more power and be just a straight up better engine i could because obviously we got uh we got some restrictions here but because of the way i built the engine it's carbureted it's literally carbureted so we're gonna head on over here and we're gonna hear this bad mamma jammer idle for the first time and uh just to make it sound a little bit better i'm gonna adjust these at first and then i'm gonna hope hope that my ears don't get blown out because this game is so loud sometimes. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm not scared. I, I mean, what can I say? It's an automation V8. I've been playing this game for like 12 years. So, all right. So this is our engine. Uh, talk shit in the comments below about how bad this engine is. Thank you. Because any comment in the eyes of the algorithm is good. So, I kind of want this little little window. Little window adds a little bit of that flair. All right, now for transmission. Realistically, this would be 4x4 because we're lifting this thing. It's going to be like the Giga Horse, the Giga Chad Mobile. And it's going to be a manual 5-speed. Well, actually, hold on. Our trim year is in 1969. It's got to go to 2020. So, we're going 4x4. It's going to have a manual 7-speed or something. And now for top speed, it doesn't have to go fast. It only has to hit like a... Uh, let's just say it goes up to 100. First gear ends at 20. And then the spread is going to be relatively low, like a rally car moment. As you can see, our final drive is 547. And it's going to have manual lockers. I'm going to spam the quality so it doesn't glitch out and be weird and beam. And now for tires, we're going to go with just normal radials. And then chunky off-road. We're going to max these bad mamma jammas out because we're going to have to use a couple tools to make this look proper. Actually, that looks sick. That looks sick, dude. Fucking radical, bro. Sick. The engine sticks out the hood already. Cool. And now for brakes. I don't think they really care about brakes in the Mad Max universe, so I'm just going to close my eyes and, like, throw something on here. There we go. Uh, drums. Cool. Yeah, why not? This thing's going to weigh like a gazillion pounds, and I do not care. Uh, Off-road skid tray, I guess. Cooling airflow, yeah. I mean, we're going to have exposed turbos and stuff, so it's going to going to be able to cool pretty easy. Exposed turbos in the apocalyptic desert? Seems like a really bad idea, but I'm just going to not think about it too hard. Seats, double benches, because, uh, because yeah, luxury, handmade. Realistically handmade, because it was handmade. Infotainment, none. Y'all get a phonograph, or maybe like a... 8-track player. I'm going phonograph because that's funny. Steering? Do we need power steering? Would, the, would this realistically have power steering? I'm just going to say yes. Electric power steering. No traction aids. Safety? No. Optimized weight? As heavy as possible. Springs? Sure. We have those. We're going to give it an off-road preset to start off with. And yeah, there we go. It's lifted. It's going to be more lifted than that though. Don't worry. This is going to be pretty sick. Anyways, I'm going to go through and mess with all these little sliders and stuff and min-max it just a tiny bit. And then I'll design it and I'll be right back. And I'll see you guys over in BeamNG.
And all right, here it is, the Pissed Maxwell. It's got a gun on the roof, roll cage, got some armor, truck bed, barrels, ram plow, bull horns, horns, massive wheels and tires. Pretty sick. I drive it. All right, so here we are in Beam and G with the Pissed Maxwell. Let's, let's get it going. Let's start it up. It's also super loud. If I had to turn the game down a little bit. Let's, uh, let's drive around for the dunes. The gearing? The gearing sucks. I really messed up the gearing. Let's keep it in, let's keep it in fourth. I think if we keep it in fourth, it's gonna be good. Steering kind of sucks. Not surprising. My shifter is acting very strange. You know what? It drives how I expected. Lots of power. Let's jump some dunes. Time to jump some dunes. My wheel came off. That's not good. Alright, now we're doing the most totally important test for a car like this. Top speed. The gearing, the gearing is way too short. Oh, that's fourth gear. Oops. I think we got... Maybe a little bit too much power. Ooh. I'm just gonna keep it forward and hope for the best. No, go to the right, to the right! Ow! Huh. It appears that another one of my wheels came off. Oh, both the front. Oh, three. Four. Four of the wheels on the car have broken. That's good. Now we know that we definitely need spares. Anyways, I'm going to take this to the track, and I will be right back. All right, now I'm going to try my best to actually get this thing around the track. But, no surprise, it, it understeers like crazy, and then oversteers, and the gearing is horrible, which isn't surprising. But I'm going to do my best. And it's going to require a lot of conversation. Con concentration. Concentration. Okay, now into the corner. Come on. No! Fine. We're going this way. We're cutting the corner. Come on, dude, stop on this. Okay, and the, the, the brakes also suck as much as you would expect. Come on. Alright, that works. Okay.
All right, onto the back straight. Let's get some speed going. Okay, that's 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 a little too much speed. I don't know if we're gonna make the corner. Come on. It's gonna cut these corners. Now this corner, oof. Come on, come on. Now for it. All right, here we go. Oh, 158. Only slightly slower than the Ventura Rebel Phase 2. I mean, I say slightly, but that's like 20 seconds. All right, very good. Until next time, I'm Vince, I'll see you guys later. If you want to see any different kind of build or any other games on the channel, let me know, comment it down below, beep bop boop, and uh, eventually there's going to be more real life content on the channel, car related, obviously. So, love you guys, see you in another four months.